Hi, I'm Sushma Reddy. Watch the making of Chip Chip K on Cinemascope only on Z. First of all, tell me what is this film? What is Chip Chip K all about? Chip Chip K is a romantic comedy. It's a family drama. Uh, it's an ensemble film. And uh, Priyan sir, for the first time, as he himself said, that he's taken this, you know, I mean, he does out and out comedy situations and they're really hysterically funny. But he's added a very definite romantic angle to the whole um, thing. And there is this love triangle between me, Shahid and Karina. And uh, and the and it's a crazy film, you know. There's there's everything in it. There's uh, there's laughter. There's there's romance. There's a drama happening. There's romance happening. There's something happening. And and there are lots of like twists and turns. So which which is why it's chip chip case. Tell me about your role in the film. My role is out of of this very simple village girl called Pooja, and um, she is uh, you know she's crazy after Shahid. Uh, they've been childhood sweethearts, and the whole film basically. As I said, like the, the the crux is this triangle that's going on between Shahid, me, and Karina. How that comes to be is the whole basis of the whole film, and of course, all the sort of twists and turns that like lend themselves to the big climax that happens. Um, but um, I think that my look in the film is very, very interesting. Uh, quite unlike what people would expect of me, it's a very simple, you know, village girl look, um, and. Um, and I'm probably the surprise packet of the film. So when the script was like first offered to you, as we all know, Priyanji sir, <coughs> the films have so many plots happening, so many things sure. happening in the film. So how did you cope with that? And like, what was your first reaction when you heard the script in your hand? My first reaction is that I'm very thrilled and I consider myself privileged to be working with someone of his caliber. Priyadarshan is a fantastic filmmaker and I think I consider it an honor to be working with him because this is just my second film. So I'm quite thrilled about that. Uh, and also just the fact that yes, I was pretty overwhelmed because uh, you know, w when you think of the fact that <laughs> there's such a huge star cast, it's a huge ensemble cast and you know, there's, uh, there's me, there's Shahid, there's Karina, there's Neha, there's Sunil Shetty, Paresh Ravalji. Rajpal Yadav, uh, you know, you have uh, Anupam Kher, Om Puri Ji, you know, there's so many people and they're all veteran actors. So yes, I was pretty overwhelmed because the first thing was, oh my God, but it's a very easy working set. Um, and I love that about Priyansa's sets is they're very democratic in how they're set up, you know, you know, so you you don't really feel that you're so junior and that you're there and, you know, and you're completely out of place, very comfortable working environment. And that really helped, I think, quite a bit. As you just spoke about your co-stars, let's talk about. So, how was the experience working with Shahid? Shahid's a sweetheart. I mean, I I think it really helps. Again, as I said, because I'm so new, it really helps to have co-stars who make you comfortable. Uh, you know, I mean, he could have been difficult if he wanted to, but he wasn't. He was super nice and super helpful also. You know, which was if there were certain things that I wasn't doing right. You know, because as someone who's new, you do skip and miss a few things. Yeah, you know, something as, as simple as maybe maybe um, there was one scene where my hand was on his shoulder and then he said, raise it, raise it, you know, because it's out of frame. So, you know, little, little, little things, which was really sweet and he was very helpful and very easy going also. Karina. Karina. Um, I didn't have a lot of interactions with her um, uh, because we actually come together only at the climax. Uh, that was fantastic because you know it's this great it's a it's a really great scene and uh, you know I mean of course people had uh, like told me legend about how she could be difficult to work with but I found that really untrue because she was very easygoing when 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 we were not shooting there would be simultaneous setups going on because this is about two families so you have like these sort of two setups going on so we still all hang around play dumb charades you know play Chinese whispers and it was very easy going so there was no sense of you know, someone being difficult or being, you know, sort of just giving someone attitude, that just didn't happen. And also, I watched her, you know, perform at very, very up close because, because I mean, we, we had our scenes together and I think she's a good performer. And whom did you have most of your scenes with? Most of my scenes were with Shahid and also, uh, uh, you know, with all, with like few of the veteran actors, like Anupam Kherji as well as Manoj Joshi and, and pretty much what is my side of the family. So that was what uh, where where I had most of my scenes, but uh, it was it, it was great fun. 
if I were to ask you any particular scene or shot that you thought was like really challenging to enact? Well, <laughs> you know, uh, when you see the film, you'll understand why the whole film was a challenge to me because, um, you know, everyone assumes that, oh, if it's a pre-Russian film, then it's an out-and-out -out comedy. So everyone's like, so what was, I mean, how, how did you feel about this whole comic challenge? What they forget is, is that it's a very uh, tricky film because there's a lot of different things going on. So everyone assumes that I've done comedy, but I haven't. I've done something else for which you'll have to go watch the film. And then you'll understand that what I've done in this film is very atypical to my nature entirely. So it was really tough for me enacting each and every shot because this person in this film is simply not me. So it was just a very, very different uh, emotion for which again, as I said, you'll have to go watch the film. Tell me more about your look in the film. My look in the film. Um, I've always been very, very preoccupied with look design because I feel that it really defines you as an actor. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a great way to achieve uh, this whole character that you're trying to uh, portray. And, uh, and in this case, uh, you know, I mean, we like settle for poker straight black hair. Uh, you know, very simple looks because Priya are, uh does not like very heavy makeup. You know, I mean, if you've seen all these women, you know, I mean, he, all his uh, heroines tend to be very simply dressed, you know, very, very simple looks, very less makeup, minimal everything. So it was the same here. I mean, it was this very sort of minimalist look, and and then it was shocking to me because when the uh, when the f first photographs of Chup Chup Ke came out on the trade guides, and I actually showed it to my mother, and she's like, okay, so I said, mother, look at it because she, my own mother could not recognize me on the cover, so I I take that as a as a as a compliment. And at the same time, like any particular scenes that your personal favorite. My personal favorite, uh, well, there was a song that I shot with uh, Shahid, which I thought was great fun because there, you know there were different multiple situations happening, you know, because you always cut to from different scenes, and uh, and there was a kite chasing scene, there was a bicycling scene, there was a, uh, you know, there was uh, the sort of running down a hillside, you know, it was it was just great fun, and especially in that bicycling shot, it was hysterical because. Uh, because our bike didn't have brakes, <laughs> and so Shayad is, is uh, has has seated me in front, and we're going at great speed down the slope, and we we had some some uh, production hands waiting at the other side of at the at the bottom of that slope just to catch us, and once they actually failed, and Shayad had told me he says don't clamp your hands in like fear onto my hands because he's like I wouldn't and I can't control this I said sure but the third time it was such a bad reflex action I just grabbed his hand so he couldn't control it so we went even through the production hands and we both went and fell <laughs> so it was really funny so yeah tell me how was it working on and hold with Priyan Priyan sir is fantastic to work with I mean um, and for and for me as I said this is just my second film so it's a great learning curve uh, you know he loves spontaneous performances. He loves, you know, I mean, he just needs everything to be natural and coming up spontaneously. Um, and he'd always try to try to explain that to me. Uh, I'll give you a great example, uh, the very first scene that I did. And, uh, and you know, uh, and his writer, or rather his uh, assistant writer had given me the scene about 30 minutes prior to read. And so in my own head, I had constructed the whole scene. I'll walk in, I'll do this, I'll go there, and I'll do that. And so when, when Sir said action, so I was just doing that. You know, I went and did this, did this, did this. He didn't say anything. He just shot the whole thing. Then he said, okay, fine, cut. He says, now, now you come here. And then he just made them replay it. And he said, acting, 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 acting. He says, don't act. He's like, I just want you to feel. And this was something that he kept saying throughout the shoot to everybody, which is, you know, feel. And I like that about him because you know he looks for that whole spontaneous element and I was so uh, pleased because I think by the end of filming I really felt that I'd learned so much more from him you know in terms of performance you know just the fact that it needs to be really felt and then somewhere like I also had this uh, this sense that that when the scene is not felt it's like you you yourself get a sense that it's not coming from the heart, you know. So from him, I think I learned that, and that is a really important lesson. How do you find the music of the film? Oh, very nice. It's uh, surprisingly, it's Himesh's music because today you associate Himesh with very sort of, 
you know, uh, uh, fast-paced beats and, you know, really sort of club, club music. But this is very old school music and it's a very different uh, school of music, uh, very pleasing on the ears and, and they're more like romantic ballads, so I quite like it. So what are your expectations from this film? Where is this film taking you? Well, Priyan sir is a veteran, uh, you know, and he's got and he's riding high on the success of so many films. Last but not least was Malamal Weekly. UTV is uh, riding high on the success of Rangde Basanti. So I think I think that that that's a very interesting partnership that they have, and I think I've got great hopes spent on this film. Um, it's a it's a definite family entertainer. It's got something for everybody. This much I can tell you because. You name it and it's there, you know, uh, trage uh, tragedy, comedy, uh, love, family, sacrifice, humor, comedy, you know, it's just, and it's just zany situations and everything is like this. So I think there is something for everybody. Thanks for talking. To Thank you. you. And I need a channel, lady. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sushma Reddy. Watch the making of Chip Chip K on Cinemascope only on Z.